Hey kids, I'm Miss Lynette, and these are my good friends, Blue and Silver. And today we're going to share something special with you. Check it out. So one day, there was this little boy named Andre. Andre loves dogs. He loves big dogs, little dogs, tall dogs. He loves dogs. And he loves short dogs. He loves all types of dogs. Do you have a dog? Dogs can be really great companions. You love them so much, they go everywhere with you. So, Andre, he feeds stray dogs, but I wouldn't recommend you feeding a stray dog. Stay safe, okay? Sometimes, stray dogs, they can have, um, they can have fleas, or they can have things that can harm you, or they can even bite you. So I don't want you to be out there trying to feed a stray dog. But Andre feeds stray dogs on the street. It doesn't matter how they look. He just loves them. He loves them all. Andre got a dog for Christmas. That was a really great present. He named him Champ. If you have a dog, what's your dog's name? Champ is like a best friend to Andre. Champ protects Andre. See, when you have a dog, and your dog is good, and he's trained, he will protect you, or she will protect you. She will make sure you're safe. She doesn't want any hurt, and he doesn't want any hurt or danger to come near you. They're going to make sure you're, you're, you're taken care of. See, Champ follows Andre around everywhere he goes. Everywhere Andre goes, there's his dog, Champ. When Andre even goes and lays down to go to sleep at the end of the night, there's Champ right there sleeping at the foot of his bed, making sure he's keeping an eye on his his owner, who he, he loves, he cares for. So Andre sometimes gets up in the middle of the night and he'll sneak and give his dog a treat. But that's just showing all in the kinds of ways that he loves his dog. He does extra for his dog. And Champ obeys Andre. Whatever Andre says, Champ does it. So that means Champ is trained. So if Andre says, come here, he'll come. If Andre says, go get the ball or fetch, he'll do it. If he tells him to sit, he'll sit because he's trained. So when Andre says, I love you, do you know what Champ does? He jumps up into Andre's arms and starts to lick him in the face. Sometimes that is so funny to see an animal express their feelings towards us as humans because they care for us also. So it's a good thing when you have one that you can rely on as a friend, whether it's a human being or if it's an animal. It could be a dog, a cat, it could be a bird, it could even be a, a, a lizard if you have one. But whatever it is, that you care for and you take as your best friend, it's a great thing and it makes you feel warm inside. So having a pet is a big responsibility. So make sure you're taking care of your pet because I know your pet does everything to try to take care of and protect you. See, but also if you don't have a pet but you have a best friend, your best friend should look out for you and protect you. Your best friend shouldn't want to see anything bad happen to you. Your friend should want to share things with you, go places with you, talk with you, hang out, play video games all night. Your, your best friend loves to do things with you. Just like I know you would love to do best things with your best friend. See, but having that person there that you can call on and talk to and hang out with, it's a great feeling. Now, Let's talk about what it's saying in the Bible times. So, we're talking about how love, whether it's a person or an animal, right? But in the Bible times, let's talk about our scripture. It comes from 1 Corinthians 13 and 13. And it says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So, remember that love is the greatest of all. Love is the greatest, okay? 
go here. Paul, wait a minute, who's Paul? Paul was one of the disciples that followed Jesus, and they, they served with Jesus. Paul wrote to the Corinthians about love. If I speak other people's languages, but do not love them, I only make noise. So if you're saying you love someone in another language, you're even trying to communicate with them about anything. Just going to the store or where is this location at to this place. But if you're doing it and, and there's no love behind it, you're just making noise. So if I have strong faith, but I do not have love, I am nothing. You got to have faith and love. You have to have both. I can give all I own to the poor, right? You can give up everything you have, all your clothes, all your toys, your shoes, and your food. You can give it all the way to the poor. But if you don't have love in your heart, you just gave it away and there, there's nothing behind it. it there were, there's no value in it because you didn't have the right um, the right feelings towards what you were doing. It was like you just did it for show, but you didn't do it to have a true meaning to help a person out. So when you do stuff, you want to do it in love. So I will not gain anything if I give someone everything I have and I don't do it in love. I won't gain anything from it. If I do not do these things with love, I'm not doing it. I'm not gaining anything. It's, it's worthless. So, in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, it talks about this, right? It says, love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not get jealous. Love does not brag. Love doesn't boast about oneself. So that everybody can see and pay attention to you. Love is not looking for all that center of attention. Love does not treat people badly or get mad easily. Because love is patient. Love rejoices when the truth wins. Love protects. Love hopes. Love keeps trying and does not give up. Love never fails. At the end of the day, love never fails. Languages and knowledge will one day go away. Faith, love, and hope will always remain. Of all these, love is the greatest. All of these things, love is the greatest. So do things for other people, but do it in love. Don't say, oh, I'm going to help. I'm going to help go rake the leaves outside or cut the grass, but I don't really want to do it. Ugh, I can't stand doing this. It gets on my nerves. Whatever you're doing, do it in love because you're doing it to help someone else out. And here's another thing. When you see your friend, right, and your friend is struggling to tie their shoe, they need help. But you stand there and you watch them struggle and you watch them get upset. Don't do that. Help them out. Be patient with them just like someone was patient with you on learning how to tie your shoes for the first time. What you do is do it in love. Be patient with others because everyone may not be where you are right now. Be patient with them. Support them. Give help to them when they are in need of it. And when they get there, once they made it to that place, celebrate them because they've made it. Love is a great thing. It's super strong. And showing it to others in everything you do and the way you carry yourself makes a difference. Be a difference out here and do things, but do it in love. When you get up and you take care of your animals, do it in love. When you get up and you go to school and you're around your friends and the other peers at your school, do it in love. Don't be mean-spirited to anyone. Do everything in love and kindness and patience. When you get ready to take your test, just remember, have faith that you're going to pass your test. 
study and, and, and have faith that you're going to pass it. But just know with all these things that we know love is the greatest. And the greatest love of all comes from our Father God in heaven. Because you know what? He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. That's the greatest love that someone could have ever given for us. Don't take that for granted. Just know that there is a God who is sitting on a throne who loves you unconditionally, no matter what. He created you. You are special and you are amazing just the way you are. And there are great things awaiting you. So that's all I have to share with you all on today. We can't wait to see you. But even though right now that we are apart, I want you to know that we love you all and that, you know, great things are coming. And you know that we go to the greatest church on this side of heaven, which is Sweet Holy Spirit. And our pastor is Bishop Larry D. Trotter. And we have two services, one at 8 a.m. and one at 10.30 a.m. And our morning in the Word, also known as Sunday School, takes place after the 8 a.m. service. And when we finally open back up, you'll be able to see me and you'll be able to see Blue and Silver there having a good time and learning more about God and in the Word. And we hope to see you all soon. Stay safe and make sure you're social distancing, okay? See ya.